So there's a really key section in this area called stop doing. What are you going to stop doing? Now I'm going to challenge you here. It's going to be easy for you to go, I don't know. There's nothing I can stop doing. I felt that way one time. I felt like I had so much going on, there was nothing I could stop. But I got beyond kind of that I don't know thought that comes up in my mind, in our minds. And I said, you know what, I'm going to dig deeper into this. And I wrote something down on my paper. For me, it was at this time in my life, it was the Fairy Princess Ball. Now, it doesn't, this happened to be a, a, an organization I was involved in and a, fr a girlfriend of mine and I had started it together. And it really meant a lot to me. We raised money for a nonprofit that helped families who, whose kids suffered from cancer. And it was an amazing thing that I was doing and uh, with my girlfriend. And it was great. My daughter was involved in it. Anyway, my point is, it was something that I didn't think I could stop doing. But guess what? I stopped. I decided to resign from it and move on. I had to put my efforts elsewhere. There were other people that were really good at stepping up to the plate and made it bigger and better than I could have even done. So it, some things just have a lifespan. And we have to remember that. Just because we started something today doesn't mean three years from now we have to keep doing it. Do you know there is a gentleman who's a thought leader and one of the things he said is he's never met an executive who couldn't stop doing 25% of what he was doing and nobody would know the difference. So think about that as you're writing uh, your intention.